mi amigos. How are you guys doing today? Happy Sunday or whatever day it is for you guys when you're watching this. So today we should be doing the last of the WRX stuff at least for like a month or so and then I think we're going to be doing a lot more to this car pending our engine doesn't blow up because I mean <laughs> Let's be honest here, the stock 255 and the stock 5 speed, their days are probably numbered. And I, I'm fully aware of that and I'm fully expecting it at some point to just grenade itself. Um, and when that time comes, we will be prepared and we will be ready. But today, we're getting on some goodies from our friends over at Rally Sport Direct. So huge shout out to them and thank you Got thank thank you thank you Rally Sport. I said thank you guys. Well, thank the guys over at Rally Sport too, but thank you guys. So the wrap on the hatch is pretty much done. We have a couple small things that we have to wrap today, like the hood scoop, uh, the little license plate guy right there, uh, and like one more little bezel on the side. I've got those ones, but we have to do two inlays on those to be able to get those pieces in. So um, for the most part, the wrap is pretty much done. I'm pretty happy with it to be honest. I do have a lip coming. I snagged like an Amazon special one for 70 bucks. Uh, it'll. Get Get the job done for right now but today we're focusing heavily on suspension stuff like i said i want to get the wrx pretty much done for all the parts that i have sitting around so that way when we pull the sti in i don't have to like push the sti out to pull the wrx in to work on the wrx to put some of these parts on so we have a lot of good stuff here from our friends over at rally sport now they sent over a set of white line rear lower control arms which if i can open this box boom fantastic control arms for the price honestly i use these on the sti i use these on all my subarus i think these are around like 250 300 bucks um compared to what you're spending they do the job for you they give you the camber adjustability that you need for the rears we also have a set of sti group and engine mounts i'm gonna try to get those on today um, swapping engine mounts with the engine in the car is kind of a pain in the ass but we'll see if we can get it done we also have a set of super pro roll center adjustment kit going in the front you guys know i run these on all the cars i have this on the evo i've got these on the sti and then i also snagged a set of sti aluminum front lower control arms from 541 motorsports um, i think i paid 300 dollars for these wrx has come stock with steel lower control arms and i'll show you guys the steel ones when we go to pull them out um, the sti ones they're lighter they're a little bit better they they give a little bit improvement on the actual like driving characteristics of the car as well so since we're doing the front center roll adjustment kit that actually sits right in here where that collar is so since we're doing them we might as well put these control arms on as well the bushings are still serviceable i'm not going to sit here and tell you they're perfect but they are still serviceable which is really what matters for what we're doing right now um, we can pull these back out in the future swap the control arm bushings later um, it's really not a huge deal and then i don't know if i'm going to get it working in this video but i'd also like to get the power folding mirrors working i got our switch in from mother russia with our pigtails on here which is nice so we'll see if we can get this working as well, I need to let this thing run for a minute. Uh, that small Odyssey battery, I have found that I need to let the car run at least once every couple of days. So let's get a cold start on this thing. It's been a little while, so let's get this guy turned on. I also need to ceramic coat this thing too, which we'll do in today's video. Boop. Okay, don't throw those. Oh, and I need to swap my oil pressure sensor. I do have another one to toss in here. Ooh, still sounding beautiful. You beautiful little hatchback, you know that? You're doing great. I'm gonna let this thing run for a little bit just to keep that like battery charged back up. Um, and we'll go to town. So I've got the car up in the air. Now there's not really a ton of room over here for me to be able to actually like point the camera in here as I'm doing things. So I wanna show you guys first. So our front lower control arm is right here. You can see it's this big steel beam on the WRX. It works fine, but like I said, the STI aluminum ones are just a little bit better. Now we're gonna be swapping this guy out. It bolts up onto the bottom of the knuckle there, bolts to the frame there, and then bolts to the frame right over there. Now. We're gonna get that out, and at the same time, we're also gonna take out the end of the tie rod. We just replaced the steering rack, so these should come off pretty easy. Uh, I am gonna mark on the steering rack kind of where we're at, just a rough alignment back to where we are. We may have to do a quick alignment on this thing once we're done. So let me get to town in here and start pulling off all this stuff. And then once we get it all out, I'll kind of show you guys the differences between the uh, Super Pro stuff and the STI versus WRX stuff. So we have the old control arm out and whatnot. I went ahead and I ran it through the parts washer. You guys can see the difference here. So WRX is obviously the massive steel one. STI is this nice aluminum one. So the aluminum ones are gonna go in, steel ones are gonna go in the trash. It's just, these also, like the, the reason you do this, those weigh less 
they look better they're going to give you a little bit better steering response or not steering response just handling response overall um they're just better control arms than wx ones like that that thing's heavy it's going to bolt right in the same as the wx one did so let's get this guy in let's get our super pro front roll center adjustment kit on here and i've said this before the whole reason that you want to do this super pro front roll adjustment kit is because when you go to lower your car it throws off the suspension geometry and how everything lines up so doing these uh the ball joints are a different length and so are the tie rods so it gives you that adjustability to be able to put it back to like a normal ish geometry speaking thing if you know what i'm saying so and dudettes we now have sti front lower control arms on the car i will say it was a really easy install the biggest issue that i had doing this was trying to get that cone out for this lower ball joint down here um doing this is no different than like doing a ball joint job or anything like that uh, which i've done in the past in a couple other videos so i will link that like right up there i mean overall it's nice i like it we now have sti it is the car is now more of an sti we have an sti steering rack STI front lower control arms, uh, soon to have a full STI six speed. It's slowly becoming an STI, just like I told you it would. We have one Matt who's completely blown out because the aperture is way too, there we go, that's beautiful. Look at that mustache. We got lower control arms swapped out, you guys. It's only four bolts holding the stock ones in. You got one to the subframe, one for the M-Link, one for the coilover, and then one that goes to the hub. I do need to make a couple adjustments to the suspension alignment back here. We've got a little bit too much toe out, so I do need to toe that back in. Uh, before I do that, I am going to go ahead. I literally just had this. I literally just had it. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to jump up in the engine bay, uh, and we're going to swap out. Ah, there it is. Swap out the oil pressure sensor for a new one, uh, because the one I got from a the one that came with the AEM gauge never worked. So We'll pop this one in, we'll start the car, we'll verify it works. If we have oil pressure reading on our actual gauge, it'll be nice, it'll be minty. I just wanna sort out all the little issues with the WRX before we pull it out. As I said, the STI is gonna sit for a little while, so I wanna make sure I can knock all this stuff out. So let's do oil pressure sensor, and then we'll keep going. Well, that kind of sucks. Swapped oil pressure sensors, still no luck. It might be the gauge that's bad. Uh, for some reason, it could just gets stuck on like one PSI. Not like one, but like a sink, like 22 or 44, and it just stays at that one number. So, uh, it's whatever. I guess I'll order another one and hope for the best on those oil pressure sensors. But for now, I think I'm gonna finish wrapping this front bumper. There's a couple little small things I need to do for these uh, fog light covers to go back on. So I need to do an inlay up in there on both sides. So let's knock those out get this bumper pretty much wrapped up for being wrapped and then we can keep going on some more stuff i just want to get this thing road ready that's all i want to do
you guys can't really see anything right now. I'll show you in the morning, but we are pretty much done with the wrap at this point. All that's left to do is the hood scoop, which I'm gonna do tomorrow morning uh, because I really don't feel like doing it tonight. It's already like dark as hell out. The puppos are sleeping in here. Dude, side note, I'm gonna link this thing down below because I absolutely love this thing. This was an impulse buy while I was at Subaru. Um, as you can see, they gotta wake up anyways. We're about to go inside. They're both still passed out in there. Miss Mochi, our little Corgi, and Jaeger, our little Beagle Dachshund, who they have no care in the world right now. She is knocked out. Oh, Mochi! Hi, honey. Hi, Jaeger. So, um, I'm gonna link that thing down below. If you have like small dogs like we do, this thing is awesome. So, uh, just... with this, wrap's pretty much done. I got the other vent on the other side done. I don't really think you're gonna be able to see it in this lighting. Uh, you can, right there. Melanie was a champ and ceramic coated the whole car for me, which was very nice of her to do. I have to do one more coat of ceramic on it tomorrow, uh, and we'll do that in the morning, but I'm gonna call it a night for right now. We're gonna jet inside, and then we'll be back out in the AM to wrap up the WRX. All right, next day, again, we're gonna go ahead and knock out the second coat of ceramic on this thing to get that done with, one less thing off the checklist. After that's done, I just have to adjust the rear alignment, get the power folding mirrors working, wrap the hood scoop, wrap the little thing on the bumper, and we should be good to go as a daily driver again. And then we can get the STI in here, start tearing the STI down. So uh, let's just start ceramic coating this thing, get it done with, just keep knocking out all this shit. you guys the wrap is finally fully done uh the bumper and the hood scoop i'm not particularly happy with the hood scoop was super faded so paint was coming off of that uh and the bumper has been in some type of accident in the past from the prior owner and they repaired it very poorly so every time i'd go to put wrap down it would also pull paint off so uh i need to buy a new bumper in the future anyways i like you can see it right there where it pulled paint off and I just, I couldn't get it to stick. So now that we've got the wrap fully done, we are going to pop back here to the rear of the car. So that way I can adjust the rear toe a little bit. I don't have rear toe arms for this. I need to get some, um, but there is some adjustability in the stock toe arms to be able to get your toe a little bit centered. So it is towed out a little bit. So let's get this thing up in the air. Let's fix our rear toe. And then from that point, it's just the mirrors. And I don't know if I'm gonna do the mirrors today. We'll find out. I'm gonna pull, there's a write up online uh, for how to wire in the folding mirrors. If it doesn't look too terrible, we'll do it. If it looks like a pain in the ass, we'll do it for another day. So let's fix this toe. The rear alignment is all eyed out. If you go down under your car and you go to like adjust your alignment and you're on stock suspension, or at least stock toe arms, kind of like I am, uh, there's an eccentric bolt. If you don't know what an eccentric bolt is, it's got like a cutout in it. With like, I'll just put a picture on the screen of an eccentric bolt. When you twist that, it'll change the actual uh, adjustment of the suspension. So with that, we were able to get it pretty freaking close. Now I want to get this thing out of the garage. I want to go take some photos of it. And now that this is done for the time being, the STI, can come back in here. There's one thing left that I need to do with the WRX and that's clean the inside of it because it's pretty freaking gross. Um, there's also a total GR STI hatch that we are snagging some parts off of. Uh, potentially Brimbos, if they're a good price, I don't quite know yet. Um, the entire interior also. So WRX has come with like tan interior panels and STI comes with black. And uh, honestly, I prefer the black ones. I'm not a huge fan of like the tan like roof liner and everything like that so we're getting some sti stuff for in here also like i said we're going to convert our wrx to a full sti swap daddy-o so i'm just going to get this thing cleaned up real quick off camera i'm um, waiting for melanie to finish her test for school and then she's going to help me push the sti from there to in here let's get this thing started let it warm up we'll pull it out and then push uh that one in i know it's been a little while 
You're doing great though. I still have to get my VDC lights reset at Subaru. Ah, see that's what I'm talking about. Every oil pressure sensor I put in here gets stuck at like some random PSI. We got the STI back in the garage now. WRX is out. I'll show you guys the WRX here in a second outside of the garage. This thing looks killer outside of the garage. Like it is, it's kind of gold. It's a little more gold than I was anticipating, but I like it. It'll definitely stand out and it'll definitely pop how I wanted it to. I think I'm gonna delete the rear windshield wiper now that I'm looking at it. Let me show you guys. Come out and run some errands, but dude, this thing looks so freaking good out here, man. I love, I absolutely love the color. I was so skeptical on it up until now and actually seeing it like outside of the garage, dude, it looks so good. It looks so freaking good in this beige and the sunlight, it is very gold. Hence why we are parked in the shade right now because it's very difficult to get this car to like not blow out on camera whenever I'm filming out here. But I do want to show you guys because like I am not a professional rapper. I do want to show you guys like all the little small stuff. Like back here, I had cut my inlays a little bit too differently when I was going through these. The wing, you can definitely see the inlay lines on here as well, which I mean to me isn't really a huge deal because it's... Like it's a DIY wrap that I did at the house, so I'm not like super concerned with it. Same thing with the bumper. Like I said earlier, the, all the paint on the bumper was like coming off. So trying to get it in a way where it looked half decent without it like pulling all the paint off was a little bit difficult. But overall, like I'd say I'm pretty happy with this. Like, dude, look at it in the light. That looks so freaking good. I am so happy with this over the silver. Honestly, I'm really, dude, even with the wing, that looks so good. This is just the daily too. Now I do need to get uh, an alignment done. I could do it myself, but to be honest, I really don't care to. I'd rather just pay 75 bucks and have someone else align it for me. Because uh, let's be honest, the front control arms we put in, the rear control arms, everything like that. I did an eyeball alignment so I could drive it around. But for the most part, it needs a full alignment. But that's all I've got for you guys in this one. So WRX is pretty much wrapped up at this point. Like I said, there's a couple small things I'm gonna do to here and there front lip on the way uh, i'd like to get a set of side skirts ordered a rear diffuser just some more aesthetic stuff up until uh the time when our engine blows up or our transmission blows up i'd like to do the six speed swap prior to the five speed blowing up because i can still get some money for that five speed and i can use that towards the sti since the sti decided to take a poop on us so in the next video we're going to start tearing down the sti trying to figure out what went wrong with it um and kind of diagnose and go from there like i said we're not 100 percent certain that the engine is destroyed like the engine can be totally fine it could be something else that's broken and we're not going to know until we go to like tear it apart and find out so that's all i got for you guys on this one if you guys like the video you know what to do go ahead hit that like button turn your black blue green yellow purple silver sign whatever color it turns for you and if you're not already subscribed to the channel and you want to be one of these corners no idea which one i'll put it in quite yet but with that i will catch you guys in the next one so peace out homies